This is a black guy giving a season two of intertwined opinion and review. Number number one, it what was great about season one of intertwined was it was a unique story, a unique twist on the tale already done of Back to the Future, but only with it with a few twists. A few twists that made it unique. And a powerful tale of a powerful woman in the twenty twenty one that but with a but sent back into the nineties when they weren't so like she is now. Kind of like what they did with Back to the Future, but what's different about season two is they took every good character, every good character except the mom, and they made them evil, and they made the evil ones good in season two. So in season two, they made the one that helped her understand time travel, her friend, she, they turned him evil to where he's working against her to use what he knows against her and to get the one she falls in love with out of her life. But he's trying to use it. He's trying to use time and what he knows against her. Whereas in the first one, he used all that technology and everything to help her. So they've turned it all around. And what do you think they did to the uh, her love interest in the first one? They changed his look completely, which is what she loved in the first season, saying, "Oh, he needs to blend in." And he and the and the and there's suddenly a second uh arm bracelet that the grandmother pulls out of nowhere um when the bracelet ends up coming off at the end of season one in current time but the grandmother ends up having an extra one there was no extra one in the first one so uh, that part they just added on and it doesn't make any sense but it's just, and then, like I was saying, with the with the love interest from season one, <sighs> they dog on pull a Michael J. Fox, Back to the Future. Yes, the season one was interesting because it was a female's take on it. Now it's they're combining the heroine, you know, the lead the lead of the first one trying to handle her love interest from the first season in her current time while trying to manage the one that is evil now and trying to get her love interest back to his time where he already proves in episode one that her love interest is dead in his time in his original time period so you have all that so you have her matching him her matching with her family who is totally her grandmother is evil now her mother who was evil in the first one is actually a good person in this season whereas it was the mother that was evil in the first season and but the mother is good in the second season, but the grandmother, who was the good one in the first season, is now evil. And then we have the aspect, like I said, of the other, the the love interest, who is doing a Back to the Future sort of tale. And it's just, they just couldn't. Let it be. They had 
to add a second season to something that was perfect. And they take what's perfect about it, and they dismantle it, they destroy it. Now, this is a combination of a few different films, and it's just a big old mess. The first one had heart, and the se second season of Intertwined is just a big old mess of uh, sparkles and glamour and drama, and it's... It's, it's like Spinal Tap meets Back to the Future. That's basically what Season 2 is. And it's just, I, where I loved the first one, the first season, I even recommended it for the uh, National Women's Month. Um, this season is horrible. The second season is... So, the first season, Roses. The second season, A Pile of Manure. 